Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for June 11th through the 18th. This is for the sign of Virgo. I'm going to get one of these and one of these. It flips over while I'm shuffling. You get to see it now, otherwise we reveal it at the end. Keep in mind that I don't go for any bashing in the comments, so keep that shit out of there. Um, the timing is fluid on these readings. Uh, typically, they're love readings. We'll see what comes out. Um, Virgo. June 11th through the 18th. What does Virgo need to know? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever you want to apply it to. This could have happened, could be happening now, or could be happening in the future. For the sign of Virgo. What does Virgo need to know for this week? Virgo. And if you'd like a private reading, the information is below. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know this week? What would you like me to tell them? Seven of Cups. Somebody is indecisive. They have a choice to make and they're unsure of what choice they need to, to make. Okay? You may be confused. You know, you have to make a decision in regards to love or money. You know, have you had this card before? I believe you probably have. Um, you know, do you choose what, what, when you're making this decision, are you choosing wisely? Cause you will be, you know, be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. This is a card of consequences. There will be consequences of your choice. Are you, are you in a situation for the financial benefits, for the assets, or are you in it for love? That's the question here. Oh, wow, you could be dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or that could be your energy. This is about togetherness, working together, um, compromising, making some compromises, collaborating with another person. Uh, somebody could be wanting to walk away or thinking about walking away or actually walking away from a situation. You know, the, you have to make a decision whether to walk away or not. That's what this is. Right now, it's pretty stable and secure where you're at. It is financially stable and secure, right? There's assets. There's, you know, um, there is some teamwork here. There is some teamwork. But is there love? Well, there is. Look at that. There could be love. There could be a connection here. There could be the end of a connection, though. There could because these are mirroring each other. And I, I mean, I have to throw that out there with the Eight of Cups. Somebody could be thinking about ending a partnership. And that's a, that's a difficult choice, right? It is. Especially when it's stable and secure. But in the meantime, in the meantime, somebody is feeling um, they've lost their concentration. They've lost their focus. And you may be feeling or you could be dealing with somebody who is angry and controlling and manipulative. There is a manipulative energy here within this partnership. There is. I mean, it's, it's, it's true. There's some sort of manipulation here. Um, and there is an ending with the death card. With endings bring new beginnings, okay? Somebody has gone through some sort of transformation. And there is a new beginning after walking away. After turning your back on something that isn't emotionally 
Content, okay, these are emotions right here, these cups. When you turn your back on something that is emotionally discontent, you will find a new beginning, okay? A rebirth, a renewal. Oh my God. I feel like we are dealing with an earth sign, possibly a water sign as well, okay? Um, but there's something that isn't meant to be, okay? The wheel is reversed. Something is holding you back from this new beginning, possibly with another with another person. I think that you have to make a choice in regards to a partnership. Whatever is going on here, you have to be responsible here. And that's what you're trying to do, right? You're trying to be responsible. You're trying to be practical. But the thing is, is you also have to do the right thing for you, okay? There's consequences of your choice. Trust me, there is, okay? Whatever is happening, whatever is going on this week is not heading you towards your destiny. It's not. This is the outcome card, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. It's holding you backwards. You being indecisive about this decision that you need to make in regards to a partnership is bringing you backwards. It's holding you back. It's not moving you forward. The fact of the matter is, is you're being manipulated. You are. Somebody is being manipulated, whether it's you manipulating or the other person manipulating. Somebody is being manipulated Maybe because they're involved in a family dynamic, because the emperor is a family person. You know, they're, maybe they're staying in a situation for the family, but they could be desiring a new beginning, that they, so they would have to walk away and make some compromises, but they're unwilling to make this decision. They're still, they're still trying to escape the reality with the Seven of Cups. Somebody is trying to escape. Um, the wheel of fortune reversed is, is bad luck. This is, this is a run of bad luck. And I think you're bringing it on yourself. You are by not doing the right thing for you, whatever this is, by letting yourself be controlled and manipulated. Okay. Somebody, you know, is that's what's going on here. It's, it's bringing them backwards. And the fact of the matter is, is there's a new beginning waiting for you after you walk away perhaps with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio sun moon or rising but i feel or could be an earth sign as well but i feel like many of you have to make a decision twos are about decisions as well in regards to a partnership you may need to choose between two people two paths and i feel as though um somebody is trying to keep things stable and they're trying to keep things stable and secure but in the meantime really deep down in this situation things are not stable and secure you're trying to keep it stable and secure but it's not it's not and i feel as though there's an opportunity for a new beginning with somebody who has really good intentions and it's probably destined but you aren't letting this happen you aren't letting this destiny play out because you're indecisive Interesting. Some of you, I'm going to change this up a little bit because this just came to me. Some of you are or have walked away from a situation. You have decided to end it and you have a new opportunity with another person that is very loving. You know, very loving and kind and ready to love you okay you could have that new opportunity for those of you that have walked away some of you are so indecisive that you are staying in a partnership that isn't meant to be okay that's all there is to it <laughs> somebody is living in illusion staying in a partnership that isn't meant to be i mean i can't it is what it is some of you have walked away and you have a new beginning right in front of you a lot of you, and most all of you, okay, have gone through a transformation, or you're going through one right now, and it's really hard to appreciate these changes that you're going through. It is. It's hard to appreciate them when they're so profound, but, you know, the chaos that is being brought into your life by these changes are bringing you closer to your life's purpose, but you're, you're hindering it. You're, you are. So I'm not sure what this is, but yeah, some of you are, um, w 
waiting for somebody to change. You're waiting for somebody to change. You're waiting for things to change. Okay? You're waiting. You're, you're patiently waiting for something to change in a partnership. Some of you. And you're holding on, desperately holding on. And many of you are desperately holding on because of all that you have obtained with this person. There's been a lot of um, materialistic items that have been ob obtained. And you're committed, right? You're staying true to your commitment. But the fact of the matter is, is that it isn't part of the future script. It's not. It's not. And it's, it's, it's like you're feeling empty and dead inside but you're honoring your commitment. So this is crazy, but it feels as though um, somebody is manipulating another person into feeling like this is, this is you. You know, they're pointing the finger at them, telling that they're thinking they're not thinking right. You know, they're telling you that you're not, it's you. You know what I mean? They're pointing the finger at you, trying to set, tell you that, you know, we can fix this. Um, they have hidden agendas. Somebody is, is really... Trying to manipulate you into thinking that this is you. That this is, this, this is just your own thoughts getting the best of you. This is... Your fears are holding, you know, they're trying to turn it around. It's and, and that's what is going on here. It's like you're being taken advantage of and you're believing what they're telling you. I'm sorry, I am. Um, there's a loss of self, though. Inside, there's a feeling of repression and a loss of self and emptiness by staying in this commitment. Somebody is, is trying to turn this around and manipulate you into, into holding on, into staying in this... They're, they're like obsessed. They're obsessed with you, I believe. And so they're trying to manipulate you. The emperor is manipulation under you, in, under this, into, into staying into a commitment. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Taurus here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Many of you are dealing with an earth sign. Could be a water sign as well. Could be any sign, just saying. But many of you really want to walk away or you have walked away. And, but there's still a loss of self here. There's been some um, sort of uh, control. It's like you're being controlled by another person, by their words. It feels like they are um, trying to change your thoughts. You know what I mean? Trying to turn this around to make you feel like this isn't real. And the fact of the matter is, is it is real. It's real. Your feelings are real, Virgo. They are. I feel as though there is an ending that is imminent. It's imminent. And you are prolonging it by not listening to your inner guide. During this time of not listening to your inner guide, you are going to continue to go through a period of repression and loss of self and emptiness. And you're only fooling yourself <coughs> excuse me I couldn't hold that back even though I tried um, it's like you're being taken advantage of the full card reversed feel free to look it up you're being taken advantage of by somebody who doesn't want something to end okay so I mean I hate to tell you that but I feel as though you you have different plans for the future and and you ha you see your future differently than another person and you know it's time for you to believe in yourself and to follow your own path and to listen to your inner guide and get out of this dead end situation that you're in so i'm not sure what this is whether it's love or job somebody is in a situation that they don't want to be in and i know what a lot of people do and i'm not sure what if this is what you're doing but it just came to my mind okay so i have to say it came to my mind for your reading is they'll pretend that this goes to their job when it really goes to their love life because they don't want to they don't want to accept it they don't want to accept the truth and that is somebody doesn't want to accept the truth here i can see that so what they'll do is they'll say, oh, no, this applies to my job. When deep down, deep, 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 deep down, not even that deep. 
Because as I say this, you know, some of you, this applies to your job. For the, but for the majority of you, this applies to your love life. And you will try to manipulate this into thinking, into, into hearing, into believing that this is, this is not your love life. When the fact of the matter is you're only lying to yourself. Somebody is lying to themselves here. That's what's going on. So it is what it is. I mean, I can't change it. For some of you, yes, this does apply to your job. But for the majority of you, this applies to your relationship and you will try to mask it by saying, this is my job. Anyhow, um, there's a new beginning waiting for you. The fool is a new beginning. The death is a new beginning. It's waiting for you. The fool is reversed. You're halting it. The destiny, this, this wheel is reversed. You are stalling this new beginning that actually is imminent. It is going to happen. It is. But right now, you're, you apparently are letting yourself be manipulated by money or assets or financial security or by another person who is trying to tell you that you're wrong and you're not wrong you're not wrong your thoughts are true the feelings of emptiness and repression within you are real they're real and it's not because of abandonment okay and even if it is because of abandonment those feelings are real So anyway, I'm sorry to bring you such a strong message, but it is what it is. What else does Virgo need to hear? There is a new opportunity here. There's a new opportunity with someone that is um, has really good intentions. I just, oh, son of a bitch, you're only deceiving yourself. The truth is coming out. The truth is going to come out. Somebody is wearing a mask. That is the absolute truth. And they're living a lie. The devil brings lies. This is a false connection. You're being manipulated. You can free yourself from these chains whenever you're ready. But you're letting yourself be manipulated by another person. And you're cheating yourself of this new beginning. You are. You're cheating yourself. Of, look at this. You're cheating yourself of this new beginning, new beginning. You are. There's something that has reached a dead end, but you are being manipulated into staying for materialistic reasons. It's time to move on and stop stalling. You've been, you've stalled long enough. You have. This is a test. The Knight of Pentacles is a test. How long are you going to wear the mask? How long are you going to succumb to manipulation and control and lies and temptation and, uh, and whatever it is? How long? It's time to plan in a practical, solid approach. You are only cheating yourself by staying in a situation that has caused you to feel dead inside. It isn't, whatever this is, I don't know who this is for, whatever this is, it isn't meant to be, It, you know, it's not. And you have a major new beginning ahead of you. You've gone through a transformation, an internal transformation. You have, you have. And you're trying to fight the change when the fact of the matter is, is that you have a new beginning right in front of you. Many of you have actually taken the steps to walk away. You have. Some of you 
are letting yourself be controlled and manipulated into not doing that. It's time to believe in yourself and listen to your inner guide, Virgo. Your inner guide is telling you what to do. Listen to it. It's not about the assets. It's not. It's about being happy. It's about love. You have a new partner. A new partner waiting for you. I don't know what this is. Some of you have a new exciting opportunity waiting for you. It's growth. You've grown. You haven't... It, it's a very fertile time. It's like it's time for somebody to light that fire under your ass. You have a new passionate, exciting opportunity right in front of you. For some of you, You've already accepted it, and it's here. Could be a new sexual partner. With someone that mirrors your soul. But you need to step out of the dead-end situation. before you can find this happiness. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Kindred spirits. And this is interesting because I feel like there's a new opportunity here with someone that is very, has really good intentions and can really mirror your soul. There's an opportunity for a soulmate connection here with someone new. I'm sorry. If you are coupled in a relationship, it feels as though somebody's feeling empty inside and they're being manipulated into staying. I'm sorry. That's what I see. I, I feel as though there's a new exciting opportunity waiting with, for you with somebody that is better suited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, I do apologize for giving you this reading, but that's what I have. And I wish you the best. Please don't let somebody manipulating you manipulate you into thinking that it's you. You. Talk to you later.